Look, I understand the kids don't use change anymore, but I don't care. We're gonna talk about how to design piggy banks and how they can be made flippin' awesome now because of 3D printing. So when I was growing up, I had a couple of piggy banks and you go ahead and drop a coin in there and they fall on through. The issue is, is that these are terrible, horrible, horrible devices for torturing kids so that they don't spend money. The main issue is that if you don't have the plug in the bottom and you drop the coin in the top, it falls right through the piggy bank and out again. So you really don't want that. The other thing was is that you had the piggy bank and then you had the piggy bank. And there really were not very many options on that if you wanted anything else bank related. For some reason, the pigs became the dominant form of banks out there, and I don't know why. But now when I was looking for new products to demonstrate how 3D printing could really help, piggy banks were actually a phenomenal example. Traditionally, they're too big, chunky, and complex to use things like injection molding because they have too much material and are often so thick that they cause shrinkage. So you end up using a real version of rotational molding, which is fine because nobody has to see the inside. But by using a molding process, you end up having to create this really hollow interior structure to where as a child, if you are trying to get coins out of the bank, they are going everywhere but the hole in the bottom of the piggy bank. You're shaking and you're hoping that luck smiles upon you and the coin travels through space inside the bank and hits the hole just perfectly for a dunk so that you can get your quarter back from it. This is torture, and by the way, kind of evil of the toy companies way back in the day. And also, have you ever tried to pull a dollar bill out of a piggy bank? It makes no sound, it sticks in some crevasse inside of the piggy bank so you can never get it to move out. And even if you get it over the hole, your poor child fingers are trying to have to pinch it out and pull it out. So most of the time, piggy banks really encourage savings because you could never get your money out. So we wanted to go ahead and solve this. Get more animals so that you could do what else you wanted do, make the bank more interesting, more reliable, but at the same time, make it more enjoyable to use. So first of all, with creating more animals, this is something that can be really challenging for new designers. But the benefit is, is that there are 40 million 3D models out there on the internet right now. A lot of them are of animals. Since we are using 3D printing, we're able to create a ton of different designs and we don't have tooling costs. So at our first launch, we can have 10 or 15 new products of this new piggy bank that we're creating. And there were no upfront or tooling costs on that. You have to license the models from the core designer, but you don't necessarily have to create them yourself. And since 3D printing is not really geometry dependent, we can use any animal we want. You can use a pig doing yoga, or you can go ahead and do a shark, whatever you feel like. There's really no limitations on it. But then the question becomes, okay, you have an animal. How do you then make the bank? Well, here we're gonna go ahead and go into the engineering of it. Piggy banks suck because they're rotationally molded, which means they take the shape of the mold, so the interior kind of takes the shape of the mold, which is why you end up with those weird spots where the coins don't flow. I would rather, as a user, have a piggy bank where the coins can come out of it and are actually funneled out of the hole, so that when the child collects a bunch of coins, they're able to empty the bank and count their money, because it's just a joy when you're five to have coins scattered around you, like Scrooge McDuck, and you learn to swim through it and you learn the joys of capitalism. So the first thing we're gonna do is design it with a sphere in it, with a slot in the top and a hole in the bottom. We are designing this whole part to be basically a negative of what the interior will look like. This negative can then be inserted into the 3D model files of the animals we showed you earlier, and then you can create these new models really easily. That design of this interior part is to scale and exported from CAD software. And in fact, we have it available over on Angled if you wanna make a piggy bank yourself after this but it is the right size for an ideal size piggy bank and then you just resize the animal around it so that you can remove it. But here's the real twist. It's not that hard to make a plastic part with a big old cavity inside of it. However, what we did in order to make this way more interesting is that there is a small ledge inside of each one of these piggy banks going diagonally across here, which prevents any coins from falling straight on through. But it's just a ledge, it's a simple ledge. So it catches the coins, so you have the fantastically satisfying thunk of the coin going in, even if the bank is empty. But then if you wanna get your coins back out, you just kind of tilt the piggy bank and then they fall out of the slot on the side. So it's a really good way to improve the piggy bank and this ledge is impossible to manufacture with any other process. In order to get that same ledge in a traditional type of bank, you would have to assemble something. You'd have to have a right half and a left half and the ledge in behind and you sandwich it together. You just tripled the amount of effort, design and cost from just 
oh, here's your model, cut out the interior and let's go. 3D printing is able to create those internal structures that do things that nobody else could ever do. So now we have designed that perfect piggy bank interior to where coins fall through, but they land in the bank and they give a satisfying sound. So each time you earn, you get feedback like a ding on the phone, only it's something useful. And then if you wanna get your coins out, you can because the whole structure allows it to fall out and flow out straight to the hole. And we have sourced with another designer who has more expertise, all kinds of cool animals so that now we have all kinds of skews of nifty new creations that can serve as piggy banks. We have very easily created an entire product line of new piggy banks that are fully differentiated from any other piggy bank, not only in more selection, but in capabilities and satisfaction. And since they're printed, they're able to create a really nice cohesive look and texture and feel to them that's the same as other piggy banks. Now, all you have to do is plug in the Etsy app to our print farm, upload these files to each one of your listings, and you are in business having just designed the product. It is that simple. And you've created a product that uses the process of making it to create a strong competitive advantage. You had no molds to get started. You have unlimited scale with a large print farm to support you. And you're able to create tons of variations with a better product. All of this was not possible 10 years ago. But today you can create real physical products that could have never existed before because they could never be made before and most certainly could never have been made affordably. So hopefully you learned something in this video. Maybe it was a trick about how to create a lot of new products, maybe about how to license new models from designers, or maybe you just saw a satisfying new type of yoga pig, which not everybody sees every day. This is a weird occurrence, but who just wants a pig sitting there with a belly button that you pull coins out of? I don't care if the kids have gone digital. This is still a really great idea. If you wanna get a hold of the files for the piggy bank negative, you can get a hold of them over on Angled, and of course, of course, if you want to try out anything else that we're doing, subscribe to the channel and see all the other videos where we talk about the design of very real products. And in fact, you can actually get a hold of one of these for real if you're into piggy banks right now. Have a great day, everybody.